Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Many a True Nerd, and welcome to Beholder, a lovely, grim, depressing, horrifying, dystopia sort of game, because I do rather like those. So yes, the basic setup here is it is a grim, grey, broken down kind of post-Soviet nation, because it is always a grim, grey, broken down post-Soviet nation, and we are a state-installed landlord who is spying on all of our tenants and deciding who to hand over to the state police, who to not, all sorts of stuff like that. So kind of like possibly a kind of spiritual descendant of Papers, Please, except to be honest, I kind of like the visual style of this more than Papers, Please. I've never been kind of desperately keen on how Papers, Please looks. Fantastic game, sure, but I was never kind of desperately keen on the graphics of it. But I really quite like this kind of terrifying dark shadow monster thing it's got going on. Anyway, let's have a look into this. This is the beta version, I should point this out. I think this is coming out kind of later this autumn, but yes, this is not the finished version. Beta version, diddly diddly day. Dear Carl Stein, we are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Kruschwitz 6. You must arrive there immediately and start working. You and your family are given an apartment on the first floor. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the Elite Official Rank, Ministry of Allocation. So here we are in our little tenement on the ground floor, like they said, and a new government directive has been received. This is the boss, click on him to start the dialogue, An exclamation mark means that he has a quest for you, got it. Let's click on him then. You must be Carl, good afternoon. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to your new duty position. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to the Ministry of Allocation? I liked those guys. And what's going on here, I say? We're driving out pests from the house. Do not pay attention to this. I agree entirely with the Ministry of Order, because I feel like the Ministry of Order are not the group of people you want to complain to. As you wish. Your predecessor hasn't coped with the easiest task. If a person occupying an important position does not cope, with the easiest task, there's only one conclusion. He did that intentionally, i.e. he has become an outlaw. Since now, every activity of the tenants is your business. And the word everything means? The word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow every step of theirs and write down any suspicious activity. Of course, if you want to gain the reputation of a good public servant. If you're going to be the perfect beholder, write down hobbies, interests and even talks. How can I do this? You need to observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. Let's start at the beginning. Have you ever managed a house before, Carl? Do you need my help? Yeah, I'm going to need your help just for the moment. Here's your daily journal. It's always located on the right. Scroll through the tabs and have a look at it. Okay, lovely. So what have we got here? We've got duty tasks. Okay, so what I need to be doing. Then we've got a profile of the various apartments. Right now, only three apartments other than my own have people in them. 
and all the others are vacant, though I'm guessing obviously the others will fill up and the task will become more complicated as we go along. The directives I'm working under, so right now it is prohibited to cover up for criminals, and again, I'm guessing Papers Please style will get more complicated directives, which potentially might start becoming completely uh, self-contradictory as time goes on. So things that are prohibited, if people do these things they should be arrested, so hiding information about crimes or killing, people can't murder and they can't hide information about crimes. If however they violate these things they get a fine and those things are green apples and red apples. Are people not supposed to have apples? Are apples against the law? I'm guessing that's because all apples are in fact imported from our bastard traitor neighbours over in our Stotska bastard our Stotskans. Let's come back to surveillance. Set up surveillance cameras in the house to make your work easier. According to the documents, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office, it's on the right from the living room. I just have to say, by the way, I absolutely love how this all looks. It's kinda beautiful and creepy and terrifying. It's lovely. Right, you, go over here, my good man. Oi, what? what? Where are you going? Come over here. There you are. Come over here, you big terrifying shadow monster. So you can search the furniture, click on the desk, and then the magnifying glass. Okay, desk, magnifying glass. And there we are. We've got a couple of things. Click on an item to see a description, or click the take button to grab the object. So surveillance camera, middle viewing angle, videotaping available. Take that, take both of them. Perfect. And then back over to the boss. Now we've got the video cameras. Great, you found the cameras, install them in the common canteen, follow me. Got it. So we'll just follow the boss, I'm presuming he's now going to open up this little room that previously was all locked up. Click on the alarm and choose a camera to install. Click on the basket to remove the camera. Fine, so a camera has been set up in a moment. There we go, so we've got ourselves a camera. And if we want to take the camera off, we can just remove the camera anytime we want. So we potentially have a finite number of cameras so we can only watch so many areas, got it. So in this case, let's actually go and install cameras on both of these areas, just to demonstrate we can. There we go, the common area is now well watched by security cameras. And it looks like they're kind of secret cameras, these aren't like obvious cameras, because we've kind of hidden them inside what I'm guessing is like supposed to be like a little smoke alarm or something. Now, what does the boss have to say about this? I see you're doing fine, this is your first reward. Spend your money on required things in the shop. Lovely. And I've got money and reputation. Good, good. You receive surveillance cameras for reputation points. Reputation points show your reputation. You receive them for completing duty tasks. You can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade people around you. Ah, because if I'm known to be like a, a member of the party or something, or popular with the party, then I can get away with things and boss people around and whatever. Okay. Unfortunately, I have issues to deal with in the Ministry. However, you can call me anytime from your working place using the private line and ask any questions. By the way, Carl, I strongly discourage you ignoring the phone calls. Remember that you and me serve our great people, and completion of directives and orders of the Ministry are our bread, water, and air. Got it. That's fine, but um, talking of bread, uh, the bread queues, can we do anything about that? Now, the main thing, several tenants are at risk. Ooh, at risk of what? Your predecessor couldn't cope. I hope you will do better. And how do I do this? First of all, watch the tenants closely. File a report as soon as you gather evidence. Police will take care of the rest. And that's given me a new directive. Directive 6039 as of the 2nd of September in... Of course, it's 1984. Seeing in front of the Ministry of Order is prohibited. Okay, make sure that we do not... No, don't sing in front of the Ministry of Order. Don't, blimey heck. Between ourselves, our great state can be very grateful to those who do their work in a proper way. The Ministry can turn its blind eye to forgery or blackmail if this helps achieve your goal. And I'll do my best. I'll just agree to everything you say, sir. The key I gave you opens every door in the house. Be sure the tenants leave the apartment before entering it. Okay, so when the tenants are out, I can go and explore their homes. Got it. Many citizens are still confident that their private life is their own business. Let it be so. Ah, let them keep believing that. Anyway, got it. Set to work! And here's my wife, lovely. What do you feel about this, dear old wife? Hello? Mm -hmm. Let's have a quick chat with you. What is it, Carl? Are you happy about your new job, Carl? I haven't dealt with it yet, honey. I was scared when the handcuffed person passed by me. Who did that, Carl? Oh, that would be the last guy who had my job. I wouldn't worry about that. 
He's the ex-house manager. He didn't cope well with his duties. What a nightmare indeed. Now, let's see, where are you going? Are you going into this mysterious dark room? Can I investigate what this room here is? So this room at the end is like the laundry room. Got it. And then can't really search any of these. And then, ah, while I'm in a room, I can see what's going on. When I'm not in a room, the only way I've got any visibility of anything is because I've got security cameras on it. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, so there's fog of war in rooms that aren't like my own rooms or the common room. But, oh, that's really nice. Security cameras are the only way I break the fog of war. And they only cover the area they actually cover. Right, in that case, let's go over here into my office and call up the ministry because that's what it's told me to do. Call up the ministry. Hello. Ministry of Order, your call is accepted. Hello there, Carl. You've learned your main duties, ready to receive a task. Absolutely. And I am ready for a task indeed. So set surveillance in apartment number two. Jacob Manischek lives there. Okay, apartment number two, Jacob Manischek. You can always buy the required cameras in the state shop. I love the state shop. It's got my favourite brand of state bread, state cereal, and state cardboard stuffed with old state newspaper when there's no state bread or state cereal. Be careful, enter tenants' apartments when they're not at home. Okay, fine. So now, ooh, now we can zoom right out. Okay, so we have a vague idea what's going on. Fine. So we can kind of see like silhouettes, but not very much. And now this is, this is really cool and really, really pretty. Right. Apartment number two. Although actually, I right now don't have any, yeah, hang on. Just pause time for a second. I don't have any other cameras, do I? So I potentially need to buy a few more. Now, what's the difference between all of these? That's just a basic surveillance camera. Very, very cheap, but with a very narrow viewing angle. Or for 150, I can buy a much better one with a middle viewing angle. Or I can go over to the flea market and buy... Oh, that'll be stuff for, for me, presumably. Stuff that I can put in my own apartment. Fishbowl. Not the best tank for a goldfish, but seaweed should do just fine. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I see. Okay, so this isn't money. This is the state shop. And the state shop, you can only buy things with reputation. The state will hand stuff over to you for free, but only if you've got the reputation for it. So money doesn't matter. Money's just for the flea market, and the state shop is dealt with via reputation. So all I can buy is the basic cameras. Let's pick up a few of them. Let's just spend all of my reputation on some cameras. Got it. And let's go and also put a single camera over in this room over here because there was a place to put a camera wasn't there now what do I want to keep an eye on let's just put one camera in here now don't come in here for just a second please thank you are you one of the other tenants by the way hello who are you exactly? I'm going to acquaint myself with you. Hi, my name's Carl. I'm the new house manager. It's nice to meet you. I'm Maria Shimmer. Okay, so Maria Shimmer is the really, really skinny one who wears the hat. Have you brought your family here? We just moved in recently, and it's lovely to meet you. Excellent. So end the dialogue, and then go into here. Who else have we got? Old guy with a beard. And what do you want from the honoured archive worker? Okay, we like you. You're an honoured archive worker. That's probably a good thing. I have to live in this disgusting house. Ooh, saying this house is disgusting is blatantly against the law. You're under arrest. And I've just asked about his wife, and I've learnt that his wife, Rosa, loves baking buns and cakes so much that it became her occupation. And as a result, I've learnt something, and because I know something, I've gained a little bit more reputation, because knowing stuff is good. Oh, I'm literally in the basement. My family lives in the bloody basement. Marvellous. I wish my wife didn't smell of cabbage. Very, very good. Okay, now, let's head up to the top floor. Yes, I am indeed literally under the ground. Am I allowed to spy on my own family, by the way? Presumably I need to know stuff. Hello? What's going on? Were you thinking about me just there? No, I think you just kind of get a view as to what they're thinking about, but it doesn't actually kind of give you new information. Right, let's head upstairs and see what's going on up here. Little poster on the walls and everything. Hello, little poster. What's this? I could take that down, but okay. And I could... Wait, hang on. Who are you? Ooh! Hello. You're utterly terrifying. Who are you, Mr. White Beard Man? Hello there, terrifying man. I'm going to ask about the house. What can you tell me? Anything useful? And it used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn it into a boarding house for gifted children. It was turned into a residence hall. And one can play chess at liberty. This is expensive. Okay, so he's a chess person. Fine, so I've learnt a little bit of information there. Got it. Now, let's just go into here because we can see whether anyone's home. And it looks to me like no one is home. So just quickly open up the door. 
And then in we go. Can we just close this door behind us? No, doesn't look like we can. What have we got in here? Aha! Right, in and install one camera. That's all we've got. So that's all I can do. So install the camera. And now we've got ourselves that camera there. So search apartment two. That's the other thing I need to do. I need to search this apartment. Let's have a look see all his stuff. See what we've got here. Click on the highlighted text to gather information. It will be stored. Okay, so we know he potentially is into gambling. Okay, so we've gained some information about him by doing that. Let's have a look see at his television. Just have a look see here. Just see what else we can learn. And nothing interesting in the TV. Search the desk. Nice and quick. There we are. Much like if we could know... Ooh, hello. A broken bottle. And with the necessary skill, this could be dangerous. Oh dear. Possesses what theoretically might be a weapon. Over to his favourite chair. Have a look see at that too. And what have we got in his favourite chair? Nothing is chair. Ooh, subversive literature in your bookcases. Then no. All state sanctioned. Oh, hello. Are you Jacob Watts's face? Um, do you mind me being in here? Hello there. I'm just going to leave your apartment now. I think I've got enough information. Instead, I'm going to go downstairs and answer the phone, because we've been told, always answer the phone. So let's just head down here. We've got, like, a bit of a view of him. Head over here. Answer the phone. Hello, phone. What do you need? The Ministry of Order. Congratulations, your first task was a success. You are awarded complex recipes for a chef and 50 reputation points. Okay, fine. According to our sources, Jacob Manischek violated state directives. And how did he do that? Spy upon him. Use surveillance cameras when a tenant does something uh, banned. Oh, hang on. Pause for a second. I think he's doing it right bloody now. So when a tenant does something banned within the camera range, the action icon changes its colour. Click on the icon to add the evidence to the dossier. Attach gathered evidence to your report. I think it's either talking about or doing drugs right now. So over in the little kind of help menu that's just kind of popped up, now the game's telling me how everything works. Writing reports, how we ultimately turn in Jacob. So you click on your work desk and you choose the log option. You choose the form in a new window. You fill in the data on the tenants you're filing. You send the characteristics to the Ministry of Information and they will be checked. If the form is filled incorrectly, you will be rewarded. If the form is not filled incorrectly, you will be fined. Got it. So all I've got to do is gather all the information I need about this bastard Jacob and then I turn in the form. Finish the conversation. Let's head up here for a second. Just uh, start things off. And a new government directive has been received. What's now banned? Ooh, drug production has been prohibited. Hang on, that's really, really useful. Oh, darn it, you were just thinking about drugs, weren't you? Right, let's just quickly, can we peer through the thing? Ooh, we can peer through the keyhole. That's kind of cool. Or we can, ooh, can we just, well, the only thing we haven't looked at yet, actually, is his, uh, his bed, and he's in that, so there's nothing we can do about that, but can we knock on the door to get some attention, or, well, we've got a message down here, hello, what's the message in the mailbox? Daily news, death in needle, Charlie Smith, the son of a miners trade union leader, was found unconscious, Criminals pumped him with drugs and he's currently being treated and rehabilitated in the hospital. The Ministry of Order advises citizens to be alert and interfere with any attempts to manufacture and spread drugs. Remember, your child could be next. Okay, so a prominent trade unionist leader's son has clearly been doing drugs, but they decided to cover it up by saying he was pumped full of them by criminals and it wasn't his fault. So, uh, lovely. Now drugs are all illegal. Uh, speak of which, have we got anything else here? So, we've now got... Storing foreign money is prohibited, and drug production is not allowed. Let's just keep an eye on here. Let's just peek through the door. I like just kind of spying on people and stuff. Okay, so he's in there. Lovely. And who are you again? Actually, just make sure you're not about to come out of the door here. You possibly are. There's two people in apartment one, and we know who both of you are already, so that's fine. I think he's now got up, so let's just have a little peek at him, and we can keep an eye on whether anyone's going to do anything. He's thinking about drugs, but is he actually doing any drugs? Oh, oh, yes, there we are. Got it. We have got information that he makes drugs, and we have seen it. Nice. And because it was, like, in our sight and also in the security camera, we know it happened. And let's just quickly walk away. Walk away. No, no, no. Hello. Hello, madam. I clearly was not spying. Not spying on anyone, in fact. 
Let's just quickly examine this here potted plant, make sure it's not being subversive. And if he's about to leave his apartment, that will indeed give me the opportunity. Just quickly go and search his bed. There we are. You just wander off, my good man. Off you pop. And lovely. Right. Open that up. Out we come. And in we go. And we've got one more thing to search, and that's his bed itself. I think everything else we've already taken care of. Everyone else is, like, thinking about soup and books and playing with a ball. And, aha, one more thing. A broken bottle. Oh, he just moved his broken bottle to his bed. That's fine. So let's just quickly move out of here. I think we've now got all the information we're going to have, but let's just quickly chat to him when he comes back up here. Just make sure there's no new information that we need. Hello there. You're what's-his-face. No, no, come and chat to him. You're currently smoking. Can I speak to you at all? Oh, hang on. There was a red thing there for a second. Are you not allowed to smoke? Is smoking counted as a drug thing? I'm not sure. I would like to become acquainted to you, please. Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Carl. I'm the new house manager. Did I win the competition? Who cares about a new damned manager? I don't care about you and your deals. Okay, well, let's just talk about the weather then. Why don't you tell me about your drugs? The drug weather. No, nothing interesting there. End the dialogue. And what are you smelling around here? There's nothing to do. It's my duty to look after the house. Watch yourself as if nothing bad happens to you. Ooh. Ooh, is that a threat? Was that a flipping threat? Dear, oh dear. Right, so, new government directive just arrived. What's now illegal? So, old clothes storage and usage are prohibited. Why the heck is that? Well, okay, that's just about the drugs again. Fine. Ooh, hello. There's something pinned to the back of this newspaper. The voice of truth. Drugs are a huge problem of society. We should have started dealing with it long ago, not waiting for a VIP to get into trouble. By the way, this is not the first time Charlie Smith is the centrepiece of a scandal. Was he indeed just a victim? No, indeed, of course not. He was using the drugs all by choice. So old clothes, usage and storage. We're not allowed to use those. And now he's thinking about, I don't know, power or something? I'm not 100% sure. Let's head over to my desk and turn in Jacob, because I think we've now got all the information we're going to have. Draw up a report, characterise a person, or blackmail him. No, I would like to draw up a report, please. Draw up a report. So, Mr. Jacob, and he is living at apartment number two, and he violated directive... Okay, I actually need to know the directives. Marvellous. Yeah, that's 6041. And I have got, which is, oh, you need to know everything. So it's from the 3rd of September, and I have found evidence in that apartment. Collected materials, and here we are, he makes drugs. So we now know that he does indeed make drugs, and that's illegal according to these here rules. There's other stuff he does, but they don't really matter as much. That's also just going to be pause time while we're doing this. No, we just have to kind of take her off the ball while we're filing a report, which does indeed make sense. So, as a result of that, that's fine. And I think that's all the information we have about him, because everything else is not actually related to drugs. He can be dangerous, he smokes a pipe, but I don't think that's a crime. I'm not sure that's a drug, I think it's just tobacco, which is deemed to be different. So, let's send the report and hope that is good enough. So the police squad are heading to the house to inspect. Lovely. And leave the workplace. And here they come, the police. Right, let's go up and keep an eye on things ourselves. Lovely, lovely. Up we go. They kick the door in. And in come the police. And oh, the police are just kind of these massive, terrifying black spectres with evil eyes. Now, they just give him a bit of a battering. Lovely, and I can see what's going on, and I think they're just going to straight up arrest him, straight away, without bothering to, like, you know, investigate, which is kind of what you felt like they would have done. But instead, off he goes. So long, you are a bad person. Now, next up, I think I saw that you can actually do something with the apartment. You can, like, fix up apartments to allow more people in. Right now, like, that doesn't happen automatically. You need to actively do that. So, I need to go in here... And I need, ooh, to repair this apartment, I need $11,000 and you don't have the money to do it. That's 17000 That's also 17000 And what about this one? That's, ah, 20000 Okay, so I need a ton of money if I want to open more houses. And, oh dear, I may have just accidentally, of course, kicked out this tenant. 
So this tenant now needs, if I want to open it up, I now need $750. Okay, so I may as well do that straight away so I can get a new tenant in here. And now I can choose a new tenant to move in. So Jones Poppinido, uh, what do I know about him? I have no idea. Or Aloysius Spack. I like the name Aloysius Spack. I like the fact that uh, they have a bow tie. I like the fact that I have no idea whether that's a man or a woman. I like the fact that they look like a lampshade wearing glasses. Done! Hello Aloysius. What is your deal exactly? So let's meet Aloysius Spack. I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Carl, the landlord. Honoured. I'm Aloysius Spack, a doctor. Okay, good. That seems like a good, simple, honest profession going on here. You must have heard about me. All of the city has. And of course I've heard about you. You're a famous doctor. Don't praise me. I was just doing my duty, but she liked being praised, really. Just my duty. Hmm, that is great. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, what problems could I possibly have? Nothing at all. Now, my children and wife potentially have something to say to me because they've all picked up little exclamation marks. Are you okay, dear? Hello, little daughter. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. And, oh... Lost toy, you say? What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. Naira got lost. It's nowhere to be found. And who exactly is Naira? Your doll. Okay, I need to find your doll. Got it. So, if I just search my own apartment, will that be good enough? Also, I should stop looking for the doll, because I'm pretty sure the phone is ringing, and that's very, very bad. Ooh. Apparently, we just keep eyeglasses, some spare parts, and a toothbrush in our phone. Intriguing. Uh, wife, I need to ignore you for a second because there is, in fact, a phone call to be done here. Hello, phone. What have you got for me, Ministry of Something? Your task was a success. You are awarded. And 250 reputation? That's flipping loads. Good. So we found he was guilty of making drugs. So I've been given a pile of money and a pile of reputation as well. Remember, if you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you will be fined. You must be present in the house at all times and answer the phone. Okay. So when you see the little phone symbol down at the bottom right, always go for that straight away. Even if you are dying, do you understand? Yes, sir. I understand Ministry of Order. You got rid of the violator. Now you need to survey the tenant's opinions on Shimmer. So find out what others think of him. Write down characteristics after you're done with the survey. Now, I'd like to request some data on my new tenant, the Doctor. So, Aloysius Spack request accepted. No violations. Banned items turned in. 19. Fine for violating public order back in August of 1983. So, actually fairly recent. And papers fine. Job, heart surgeon, civil liability, 6 out of 10, no special control required. Okay, she seems to be basically fine. Now, what does my son want? Hello, son. I have an issue, father, he says. Oh, uh, what's the issue? What do you want? Economics classes started, and we were given a list of literature, textbooks and books I needed to study. I went to a bookshop, and they don't have those books. My friends say that antiquers sell those books on a Saturday market, but they cost a million. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone has these books. You talk to wise and smart people. And I'll think of what I can do for you. Okay, so if I can get myself some books, then that might be useful for him. And finally, my wife. What have you got for me? I need your help, honey. I can't find a big saucepan. I search every corner. I have no idea where it is. Could it be stolen? Should I call the police? No, 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 no. Don't worry, I'll find it. So I need a pot for the wife, the books for my son, and the doll for the daughter. And they could be anywhere. And I don't really like that symbol, young man. Why are you thinking of a flag with a red cross for it? Does that mean you're being unpatriotic? Because I'll turn you in. Don't think I wouldn't. Okay, I've searched my entire house and no sign of the doll. The doll theoretically could have got lost in the common areas. That is more likely than it being stolen. If I were to search the common areas, it strikes me as more likely it'll be there. So just a poster there. None of this I can search. Head over into the laundry. She could have actually put it in one of the machines, couldn't she? That's reasonable. She could have left it inside the washer if it had a wash. And there's just a fat cat outside who happens to be thinking, Ooh, he's thinking about me. Excuse me. Head out here, please. You just kind of scuttle outside. Just run as fast as you can. Excuse me. Who the heck are you? My compliments. And, oh, are you an illegal black market trader? you supposed to be here. Take a look. Chocolate bar, nice. Or coffee beans, or book, a typical love novel. You can tell it's got hearts on the front. So if I need stuff, I can buy it. 
got it. But uh, I feel like I don't really need any of this stuff, really. And I'm not sure if you're actually a legitimate legal trader. Excuse me, I'd like your opinion. Or are you thinking about me? Oh, get in there, Carl. Okay, we know you're both in here. Let's just quickly have a little kind of peek inside, just while there's no one in the hallway. And, ah, you can't even see all the way in. You can only see a little bit. Fine. Let's knock at the door. Excuse me. Hello. And presumably one of them will come in. Ah. And that kind of... Ooh, I could put a flipping camera over their bed. That is creepy as balls. And I've got 18 hours to figure out what's going on with Shimmer. Excuse me. I would like to speak to you about Shimmer. Although, actually, can I have a saucepan, please? Do you have a saucepan suitable for making a compote? You better talk to my wife, Maria. Okay, we'll speak to her in a second. Fine. Any chance you have the economic books I need for my son, Patrick? The issue with the library is well known to me. It's not just the line. The library workers should also like you. Otherwise, they'll drive you away without any explanation. I can help you. I have books left over in the time since I used to work in the counting bureau. Okay, I'd be happy to help your son. Perfect. So there we are. I've now picked up the books that my son needs. Lovely. Okay, leave that there. And you, Rosa, apparently you're the right person to speak to about the, uh, yeah, about the saucepan. No, my dear, my husband and I live alone for so many years, we don't need anything big. Fine, so she doesn't have a big saucepan. Wait a second. You're, no, no, sorry, you're the Ranex. You're a number three. I needed the wife from number one. Oops. And speaking of her, she's also just told me her husband likes fishing. Good, so we've learned a bit more. Now, what was your opinion of Klaus Schimmer? Expert in wine. Lovely. Unfortunately, I've only got ten hours left to actually, well, eight hours now, to actually uh, finish up the rest of uh, the quest for speaking to the rest of the tents. They all seem to have flipping gone out. And I need to speak to Mark Rannick. Are you Mark Rannick? Hang on. Yes, you're Mark Rannick. What about Klaus Schimmer? I don't know anything you don't know yourself. And curiosity is a mean sin. Okay, fine. I had a fellow worker who always poked his nose into other people's business and documents. And what happened to him exactly? And he was sent to jail. You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. And now I just need Shimmer's uh, wife. Shimmer's wife is the, the tall woman in the hat. Where is the tall woman in the hat right now? Hello? Three hours left here. Oh, oh, there she is. Knock on the door, knock on the door, knock on the door. I need to get... I just need to speak to her. And then I need to... That'll be the lot of it. No, no, get in here, you. And also, you might be the right person for a pot as well. So just open up the door here. Let's just quickly speak to you about... The saucepan! Can I borrow a saucepan? My wife wants a compot. I have a suitable saucepan. Here it is. Okay, that's the saucepan. So what does your husband do? Just very quickly, he likes shooting photos. Got it, and oh, we completed that with just barely any time left. Fine. Phew! So I now must write the characteristics of Klaus Schimmer, and I get $500 and 50 reputations if I do that. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I've got all of that. I may as well leave that for now because I've got 46 hours to do it. So I may as well finish up my other business. My other business is mainly I need to find the doll. You good sir, you have a quest marker. My wife told me you'd asked her about me. I also know that you talked to other tenants about me. What happened? Tell them about the ministry order, threaten with eviction, end the dialogue. There's nothing wrong with him knowing the Ministry's looking into him, right? You must be more careful, Comrade Klaus. I've received an order to evict you from the house. Have I? Has that happened yet? They want to evict me from my own house? Unthinkable. If only I could, I'd leave this pokey of a place long ago. Well, my problem should not bother you. Thanks for the warning. What are you going to do? Let's offer some help here. What could you theoretically do in return? So I want to help you. Why don't you just leave the city? This is very suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? And... No, just agree and leave. Let's just do what the uh, the government wants me to do for now. You're right, I have no time to talk about your problems. As I thought. Let's just instead go downstairs and help out. Oh, I think my son might have just gone off to university for the day. That's fine. And I believe... Ah! I think it's the daytime, so as a result, everyone's like going out to work or whatever. So as a result of that, let's just go upstairs... And now, I think with you two, yeah, you two are the Ranix, aren't you? This area is now ready to be opened up. Right, into their house and let's start searching it. Right, let's figure out if they've got anything illegal here, all right? Comb, tobacco, rope, passport, watch, nothing major at all. 
into the bedroom, please. And let's just quickly put a... Oh, I don't have a camera at the moment. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can buy myself one... I can buy myself a couple of really good things, actually. Let's buy myself a couple of good cameras and a few crappy little ones, okay? And I'll still have plenty of everything. Let's give ourselves one nice good camera. That is a middle level camera, I think. There we go. Now I can keep an eye on things and they're still not home. Let's keep going on here. Just make sure there's nothing illegal going on in this place. Hello. We've got seeds and planting work calendars and detailed descriptions of the soil. Okay. Greater part of the seeds are already gone and the calendar contains a lot of marks. Somebody has been doing something related to gardening. That monster. And now just search your little side table. And then this little thing down here. Nothing major, just a passport. So these guys appear to be entirely above the level. And we have just got out of the house before you got home. Nice. But also, no sign of the doll, which is intriguing. Let's just... Actually, this apartment used to belong to the guy I turned in. But then has all the stuff changed because she's moved in. Search the bed. In theory, could there be a... Uh-oh. 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 Go, go, go. Get out of the room. Get out of the room. Run, 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 run. And out we go. Hello there, Mrs. Stapp. Nothing dodgy here at all. Son, I've got some books for you. Yes, father. And here are your books, son. Wow, I've set about my work. I couldn't have dreamed of such wealth. I may not go to the rat's nest. To the library, I mean. And thank Klaus Schimmer from apartment number one. This is his gift for you. Your neighbour is so great. I wish everyone was like him. That's true, actually. He did give me those books. Like, and he didn't even have to. It was just a gift. I should try and help Klaus Schimmer if I can. Because he was nice to me. That is very, very true. And his wife just gave me that pot. Like, without any question whatsoever. Let's see what we can do for Klaus over here in apartment number one. The nice man who... Who gave me the books. I think we should try and do something good for him. Before we kind of have him kicked out. Because I'm not even sure exactly why I'm having him kicked out to be honest. Like there's no... I don't think we've found anything dangerous about him. Hang on a second. Just pause time for a moment. Have we even found anything bad about him really? Ex-owner of the house. Information collected. Plays chess. Smokes a pipe. Uh, likes wine. Takes photographs. Nothing illegal. But this time, offer some help to him. I'm asking not because of my curiosity. I want to help you. I'm hunted. It's hard to believe that anyone is interested in my troubles. I was sent to the tobacco shop, to that tiny wooden booth in the worst place near the fish market. They took my absentee certificate. I'm chained here without it, you understand. So someone's stolen some form of documentation from him. Yeah, what exactly is this certificate you're now missing? So, you should know such things, Carl. This is a document you need to get access to strategic facilities or leave the city. Railway stations, ports, roads with checkpoints are closed for me. Okay, fine. So, why don't you just go and get it back? You won't believe me. I received an official response from the Ministry. The documents were sent to the archives for the data update. They said I could take them from the archives. I went to the archives. They said there were no documents left. I spent a week in line to visit an inspector in order to hand in a detection application. Two months later, I received a reply that I used the wrong form for my application. Alas, they ran out of the form I needed. So he's tried to update what's the equivalent of like his passport for moving around the city but he just ran into an impenetrable wall of bureaucracy and incompetence. So he can't flee even if he wants to because he doesn't have the documents to do it. Let's see what I can do about your absentee certificate. And now I've only got 18 hours to do that in. By the way, you can have conversations while the game is paused, which is actually quite convenient. You should do that a lot. And the bequest papers, please, has begun. Of course it has. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my understanding is this beat is kind of like a demo, so there's only going to be a little bit more. So I'm going to wrap this up later this week. We're going to figure out how we can help little old Klaus here get out of the city and ideally out of the country without just booting him out. Unless, of course, he has committed some form of terrible crime in which which case, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to be properly certain he's on the level, and if so, we'll help him. So, that's coming up soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been Thomas. It's been many a true nerd, and this has been Beholder. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Eroticism. How important is it to have erotic or love scenes? It's a film about bakery. Very important. Okay, so Ben and Arthur just came on TV. That's Ben, and that's 
Arthur. <laughs> Dinner Date's a really good film. Aside from the bit where he eats her, that's arguably not as good.